Target and TJ Maxx both ending the day in the green after reporting earnings this morning, but they offered different outlooks. Target slashed its full year forecast while TJ Maxx raised its outlook. For more on the state of retail and the consumer, let's bring in Matt Shea from the National Retail Federation. Matt, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for being here. Um, we get Walmart results tomorrow. Uh, it would see it would seem and, and this has been going on for a couple of quarters now. Consumers are much more cost conscious. They're spending more of their money on groceries where we've seen inflation continue to tick higher and maybe being much more deliberate in terms of their discretionary purchases. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, Morgan, I think that's been the story of the last year after we saw uh, the, the incredible spending spree that consumers went on during 2020 and 2021. We saw in 2022, a year ago, a few more than a months than a year ago, we saw inflation really start uh, to increase substantially. And that's when you began to see consumers adjusting the way in which they were spending their monthly income. And they've adjusted increasingly uh, this year. Uh, in spite of a pretty robust start to 2023, they've, they've adjusted accordingly. So they're spending more on necessities and they're being much more cautious and deliberate about spending on those discretionary items. And I think that that adjustment in the mix combined with uh, increasing dollars or percentage of wallets still going into the experience economy and to travel, hospitality, dining, uh, all those categories, I think that's reflected in, in uh, what we're seeing today. And I think that's the story that all retailers are telling us. Yeah, to your point, we did see this major pull forward in, in, in go goods consumption in the pandemic. We come out of the pandemic, people start splashing money onto, onto services and into things like revenge travel uh, and, and experiences and the like. H have we found equilibrium yet? Is this the new normal or is it still adjusting? Well, I, I think the, the question of that is uh, yet to be determined. We know that uh, in terms of the overall mix, uh, of consumer spending, it was historically 65% uh, on experiences and 35% on goods or, or plus or minus. It's, it's been elevated uh, through the pandemic and it remains elevated to historic norms. So we haven't receded, so to speak, on the goods side. We're still spending more of the experience, more of the services economy and goods economy in consumer spending than we were before the pandemic. Uh, so I think we, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But as much as the I, I guess the message is this, though, uh, Morgan, I would say as much as the Federal Reserve would like to be in control of this economy, uh, consumers are in control of this economy. And, and that's why we saw sales jump uh, in July unexpectedly for retail sales by our measure, as well as the Department of Commerce. And I think that's going to be the challenge for the Fed going forward is our consumers going to keep spending. Wages remain elevated relative to inflation. Uh, that drives consumption, that drives demand, and that results in inflation. And that's the real challenge in the economy right now. Yeah, I do realize that wages are, are continuing to rise here, but credit card debt crossing a trillion dollars for the first time ever in the second quarter. The fact that we're seeing that rise as well, concerning? Well, I, I, you know, it's, I think it's interesting, um, but I think the number to really look at is delinquencies, and delinquencies are at a 20-year low. So debt is increasing um, in a macro sense, but delinquencies are still relatively, still historically low. And if you're going to look at credit card debt, I think you have to look at the percentage of debt relative to household income, and that's also still very low. It's higher than during the pandemic because the government threw $5 trillion of fiscal stimulus at all of us, and so we used it to pay down debt. But relative to historic norms, it's still very low. So I think that, it, yes, in, the, in an absolute sense, um, credit is up, but relative to measures of, of distress, uh, I don't think we're seeing those signs yet.